y'all doing? What's going on? Did y'all hear what's going on with the baby? Listen here. DJ, stop the beat. I got to talk to y'all. See, the baby, you've been messing with so many people. Karma coming for you, buddy. So you guys heard the baby, his concert, he had to cancel on y'all in New Orleans. Yes, he did. He had less than 500 tickets. And some was low as $35. Hello, can we talk about value? But girl, guess who canceled him? Nope, it wasn't a Megan Thee Fallon fans. Nope, it wasn't a LGBT. Nope, it was the black church. Yes, honey, the black church gathered around and they canceled him. This is what I'm hearing in these streets. They said that the baby did a music video and the black church did not like. They said, you mocking our Jesus? All right, so um, he came out with this radio or song called Black Skin. And it, it dealt with him, you know, I guess when he was young, his family was probably religious, was Christians, whatever. And he was talking about his experience, you know, from it and how he's living in a hood with tough skin. And I don't know, I didn't watch the video. But anyway, they did not like the imagery of uh they said they're jesus on that cross okay they said i don't care about your art so they said it was a black church and um they gathered around and they was trying they just had a lot of you know negative stuff to say about the baby and they wanted to counsel him so that's what they did um from this article as you guys can see black christians boycott the baby after disrespect of Jesus, low ticket sales, and concert council. Now I'm thinking, hold on, how do black Christians, why are they even listening to secular music anyway? But I guess, you know, a lot of the baby fan base are black Christians. So, hey, there you go. So, uh, anyway, um, yeah, they said they band together. They went different places, and they said it was hard. I'll read the article right here. Black Christians have flexed their pocketbooks, and for the first time in recent memory, they banded together to boycott a popular hip-hop artist. It appears that the boycott was successful and have long-standing impact on the relationship between the black church and hip-hop going forward. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, they said Media Takeout learned that thousands of Christians in New Orleans area started a campaign to stop people from purchasing tickets to the baby upcoming concert. The boycott appears to have worked. We confirmed that less than 500 tickets were sold for a venue that holds <laughs> over 14,000 people. Ooh, wee, honey. It said this time the black church took on disrespect and it hit rappers where it hurts in their pockets. Here's what went down. The rapper baby known. Okay, we don't gotta do all that because we already I already told y'all it was about this. So we go to uh his Instagram page, and as you guys can see, they are filled with a lot of Jesus trolls. Black Jesus trolls is uh up in his comment section. And you see uh, they have the symbols with the cross. It says, never respect uh, Jesus again. And other people are saying, fell off. And um, let's go to the, the channel and let's go see in the comment section. In the comment section here, it says, I rebuke this energy in the name of Jesus. I rebuke. So you see uh, there are a lot of black Christian Jesus trolls. And they are trolling him. The black church and a lot of Christians are trolling the baby right now. They're constantly on his Instagram to his YouTube. Uh, just uh, saying, I rebuke this energy in the name of Jesus. And uh, that's what they're doing. They are attacking the baby and they are want to cancel the baby for his artwork of his beliefs you know, dealing with their religion. So comment, let us know what y'all think about this. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder, is the baby going to speak out and say something? I don't know. Y'all think he going to say something? Uh, he kind of quiet about this. So we would just see. They told him to take that music video down. As you guys can see, he ain't taking ish down. You know, he had a whole bunch to say about black women, a whole bunch to say about the LGBT community. 
But he ain't saying nothing to the black church, honey. I think he's scared. I think he's scared. He don't want no smoke, okay, because he's real quiet. But maybe he do because he sure didn't pull that video down either. And maybe he feel like it's from his heart. Uh, this is her, his personal experience. This is his art and how he felt about, you know, his religion and his beliefs going forward. So I'm out of here coming. I have to just drop that bombshell right there, okay? <laughs> and listen to baby. If you never did Megan Thee Stallion the way you did her, none of this would be happening, honey, okay? You know what I'm saying? You see how you did a lot of people dirty. All right, and I'm out. Bye.